What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, you will learn the best settings to boost FPS, fix lag, and also fix FPS drops in Rust, literally on any PC. So what you want to do for the first step is you want to enable high performance for Rust. So what you want to do is you want to head over to your desktop, you want to right click on your desktop, then you want to head over to display settings, then you want to scroll all the way down and you want to click on graphic settings, then you want to click on browse, then you want to head over to this PC and you want to click on your local disk, then you want to locate the file Steam, then you want to click on Steam apps, then you want to head over to common and then you want to click on rust then what you want to do is you want to click on the rust exe and you want to click on add then once you add it you want to click on options and then you want to put it on high performance and you want to click on save and then for the second step you're going to type in some launch options for rust so what you want to do is you want to head over to your steam then you want to head over to library you want to right click on your rust then you want to head over to properties and then you want to basically paste this command in your launch options i will leave this command in the description so you can basically copy and then you can paste it in a launch options so once you paste it you basically want to close up your steam then for step 3 you basically want to disable full screen optimization this will push your fps a massive amount so what you want to do is you want to head over to files then you want to head over to this pc you want to click on your local disk then you want to find the full steam then you want to head over to steam apps then you want to click on common then you want to click on your rust so once you find your rust you want to right click on the rust exe then you want to head over to properties then you want to click on the compatibility tab and you want to disable full screen optimization then you want to head over to change high dpi settings and you want to tick the box override high dpi scaling behavior and you want to click ok and also just another tip if you're running on a very low end pc and you definitely want to play this game tick the box run in 640 by 480 resolution screen and then you want to click apply and ok so this is basically for the very low end losers so once you're done tweaking with the settings you want to click apply and ok then for the fourth step you're basically going to tweak with some rust in-game settings so you want to head over to your options then you want to head over to graphics then you want to put your graphics quality on 2 and you want to put your render scale on basically 5 then you want to put your shadow quality on 0 and you want to put your max shadow lights on 0 and you want to put all these quality settings on 0 and your shading level you basically want to put on 202 and your draw distance you basically want to put on 500 and your shadow distance you want to put it on 713 and your anti-sotropical filtering you want to put it on 1 and your grass displacement you want to turn on and your nvidia flex mode you want to put it off then once you're done with that you want to head over to the mesh quality and you want to put all these to zero then once you're done with that you want to head over to image effects and you want to put your anti aliasing on tssaa and you want to put your depth of field on off and you basically want to put all these off then once you're done with that you basically want to save it and if you made it this far in the video you are basically so lucky because today i'll be giving away a free rust fps boost pack which you can download link in the description so once you download it you basically want to open it and you want to basically follow all the the steps i will leave some steps i will leave a folder called steps and you can basically read the steps and you can basically follow all the steps and you should get the best fps and also this will basically optimize your windows 10 or 11 but anyway if this video helped you please give it a like and also subscribe for more videos you can watch this video on my right hand side and this video on my left to boost your fps in these games thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video